So Thierry, how does it feel to be back in London? Great. You know, as much uh, as I love New York, uh, London is, is home for me. Uh, I'm French and everything, you know, proud to be. Uh, you know, I'll always defend my country whenever someone is talking about, about it, but, uh, but London is home for me. You know, everything did change for me. Uh, professionally and and uh, and, and privately, uh, right here. You know, my daughter was born here, and and also what happened with Arsenal. Uh, so, and I love the town to be honest. Great vibe also in the town. London is an amazing city. So, this is this is home for me. What particular parts of London uh, do you like? I mean, obviously, being uh, playing for Arsenal, uh, you you have kind of a to be based. North London, so I would say I'm an Amstead guy, so I love Amstead, you know, it's Amstead, Regent's Park, Primrose Hill, you know, like North, West, West, I don't go, you know, that's where I am, you know, I don't go too much South, uh, Southwest and stuff like that, you know, I, I go to the West End, as, as, that's as, uh, as far I go in London, and if not, I stay, you know, St. John's Hood, around that area. So I would say, you know, maybe if you're from Chelsea, then you say another thing. But uh, obviously, being being where where I am right now and playing for Arsenal, and, and you want to stay there, so I'm always going to tell you that part of London for me is the best. Uh, you said that now you're a fan of Arsenal. Um, was that a gradual thing, or was there a particular moment when you thought, I've actually now moved into fandom as well as... Well, it's kind of weird, because uh, I was about when I used to play for Arsenal, but I am now. Uh, yeah. But uh, before, <laughs> but before, when I, before I left Arsenal the first time, um, I, I, you don't think about that. And I was playing hard, and I, I, I always gave everything. For this club and and, and will, uh, you don't think I just wanted to perform for the club. I wasn't thinking about anything else. And obviously, I didn't grow up as an Arsenal fan, so I wasn't thinking much about it. Uh, having said that, the, the guys that were there before they teach me what it, what it was to be an Arsenal player. You know, they they, they, they passed on, you know, the, the old Arsenal thing. So I embraced it. I tried to I tried to honor it as honor it as much as I could. Uh, I wasn't thinking too much about it. It's when I left, you know, when I left, it was kind of a a weird moment to be honest in my career because I knew already that I loved the club, and then I realized that I became a fan because it it, it was kind of weird to me. Um, yeah, I became a fan when I left. So recently. Uh, You've been wearing Puma boots. Uh, what made you want to come and join Puma? Uh, and what do you think of the boots that you've been wearing? Uh, first of all, I was following Puma for a very long time. Some of my teammates uh, were wearing Puma for, uh, for, for a very long time, actually, back in the days when I was my first spell at Arsenal. Uh, and then I followed their work uh, with, uh, with the African teams. And I always thought that it was a great thing because sometimes people don't care about the African teams and 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 and, uh, and gambling with, with them. And I, I, I always thought that was nice, um, a nice thing for, for from Puma for Puma to do. Sorry. And and then obviously I, I've been involved with some other sponsors before, and uh, uh, I have to say that you know we kind of we kind of talk about it with, with my people, and and, and you know. Uh, Come to an agreement that uh, uh, we wanted to join join Puma because we we saw that the future was bright uh, with them and it was uh, it was kind of a no brainer. And, and the Puma King SL, what what are your thoughts about that? Wow, you know what? I was just like so happy, and, and I'm not saying that uh, because I just joined Puma. Uh, I'll be honest that that I haven't been that excited. Uh, for 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 a boot, a pair of boots for a very long time. Uh, they're just amazing, um, light 
and still uh, uh, you can still have that leather like like just like back in the days and they're really light you know I'm not having a go at all the other boots that 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 are in synthetic but I'm a like old school guy and I like a leather boot you know even though back in the days I played with some other stuff but that 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 boot right there for me is um, one of the best I've seen for a very long time and I've been in the game for a very long time too now yeah uh, <laughs> but uh, as one one of the best I've seen in the game for a very long time trust me Thierry, you, uh, you demonstrated extraordinary calm against Leeds when you scored your first goal back for Arsenal. Um, are you that cool in all areas of your life? I would like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually don't know, no, but if you talk about the game, the game is a different thing, especially as a striker. Uh, uh, obviously, we know that I did miss a lot of goals too, but... Uh, when you're a striker, especially in the box, you have the ball. So I always said to myself, uh, you shouldn't panic. You know, you have the ball. Why would you panic? They sh everybody should panic, not you. Uh, having said that, as I said earlier on, you know, it doesn't always work like that. But the first thing you need to do as a, as a striker when you're in the box is to, to, to be able to keep your cool. Then after in life, I think I'm ever, like everybody else. Uh, can be cool sometimes. Sometimes I can be pretty annoying. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I would say I'm, I'm kind of laid back. Um, but when I have to do something, whether uh, it is on the field or outside of the field, then I'm, I'm, I'm committed and I won't be too, too laid back. Are there any particular things that wind you up? Everything. Everything. Everything does wind me up. I'm French, so something that we have sometimes we complain a lot <laughs> no 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 i just that you know what uh it deep i can't tell you you know it's something that i see sometimes you know uh, uh especially in the game you know if, if 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 you think a guy can give you the ball and you don't give you the ball you're always gonna mount right you're always gonna say all right give me the ball you know but that's a normal thing on the field and uh uh, or, or if you feel that someone did disrespect you you know i mean a normal stuff like everybody else you know i, I have my moments Um, you said that uh, English fans uh, will leave you alone. They'll give you a, a little bit of space. But how much of a shock to the system has it been to return to London from MLS and face the pressure of the media and the fans and all the hype that goes with the game? I didn't actually think about it. I, didn't, I don't read anything, so it's pretty simple for me. I go to train, come back, go to the game, come back. I don't... I don't kind of uh, get sucked in in what's been said or not said. Um, uh, it does. You, it, it did used to. Uh, it does affect you at one point when you're really young. You know, you want to see what people say about you. You know, and stuff like that. But you soon understand that that's not really how it is. You know, you have to try to do your best for the people that do care about you and 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 do care about the club that you're playing for. And that's it. Kind of weird, you know. I mean, uh, even saying it that I'm back at Arsenal, it's it's uh, it's almost uh, almost unreal. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm a bit more mature, uh, mature, and even though we all know as uh, as men that it's kind of difficult to do that, even though I'm 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 34 and uh, I'm a dad now. I was also a dad before I left Arsenal, to be honest. So, but uh, I don't know. You know, you see things differently. Uh, you know, because you know you you're more. You, 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 you're near, you're more uh, like at the end of a career than at the beginning. So, you know, you're trying to take everything in. You know, you understand the game a bit better. Uh, you have to, you, you're a bit less, less. you know, you, uh, as I can say, if I can say that, you, you, you're you not 20 anymore. So, you got to be a bit more clever uh, with your game uh, overall on the field. Uh, outside, you, you know what it takes, you know what it takes to win. Uh, you know also what it takes to not win. 
so not to win, sorry. So you you you're trying to to help people a bit more. You know, sometimes when you're a bit younger, uh, you 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 focus and committed a bit too much. You know, you don't take time to appreciate stuff and 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 give to others. Uh, but that that I guess comes with uh, with age and, and and time. If you if you clever enough clever enough sorry to understand it. Uh, but yeah, in terms of uh, then after, I'm still the same. I'm a competitor. I don't like to lose. Uh, I always try my best. Uh, even though I said so many times, at times it, it, it's not uh, enough. But you know that will never go. Uh, other than that, uh, obviously I'm not the same type of player that I used to be. But as like I said, you need to to play a bit more with your brain now. If you could go back in time uh, to give uh, the younger Thierry Henry a, a piece of advice. What would it be? No, a piece of advice, I, I wouldn't say anything. I will just, you know, if, uh, if I had the opportunity to talk to, to a young me, I would say enjoy the ride. Um, you've won pretty much everything you can in your career. Um, are, there, are there any regrets or things you might have done differently? No, because no, I always say things happen for a reason. And whether you like it or you don't like it, you... You were sad that day, or, or happy, or whatever. You gotta go with it. Everything happens for a reason. Um, if I was to come round your house for dinner, I'm not saying I'm invited, but if I was, uh, what would you cook me? What's your signature dish? Depends. Uh, I can. Depends. Chicken rice uh, and beans, uh, uh, something that's called tartiflette. It's like a, a dish uh, that uh, we do in France in the mountains. Uh, gombo soup, whatever rice and, and whatever you want. I mean, I, 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 I'm not an amazing cook, but I can cook. So even dessert I can do. Uh, not all of them, but I can do some, some great dessert. Uh, I actually don't know. It would be up to you, whatever you want to eat. Not, not whatever, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not a chef right here, so. But I can cook. Do you have a favorite meal that you like people to cook? Well, my, one my mom does cook. You know, you can't beat that. Uh, so, whatever she does, especially West Indian food. Um, and I, apart from my mom, I do like Italian food and, and, uh, and Japanese food. Uh, and Chinese and Indian food and, and Cuban food <laughs> and a lot of food to be honest. But uh, no, no, I, I, I'm 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 pretty easy. But you know, you, you can't be beat uh, uh, your mom cooking. <laughs>